It's a classroom brawl that has made local and national headlines. Police say a Southern Guilford High School student was attacked by fellow classmates, students from another school, and even a parent. Days later, the expected charges still haven't been filed. WFMY News News Jess Winters spoke to some parents who are questioning what is taking so long. It's been three days since this incident occurred. Has there been any repercussions for the behavior? On Tuesday morning, the Guilford County Sheriff's Office says a GCS parent was among the eight people who stormed a classroom at Southern Guilford High and beat up a student. Southern mom Mindy Reagan questions why no arrests were made on the spot. And a 37-year-old woman drove herself, trespassed onto school property, went into a classroom during class hours and assaulted a 14-year-old child, and yet there has been zero charges pressed against her. SRO Captain Brian Hall says everyone involved in the assault was immediately found that day. We want to make sure that we're methodical and make sure the right charges are put on the right people. The sheriff's office says charges are coming early next week and all eight have, quote, peacefully agreed to turn themselves in and have their charges read to them, which include assault, inciting a riot and first degree trespassing. There was no phone call for another 30 some hours to notify the parents. Reagan says communication was lacking. As all Southern parents were informed of the incident the day after it happened, Guilford County Schools says parents of students who were in the class where the fight happened were called that day. We're lucky we're, you know, that the conversation wasn't different. Somebody didn't come in with a gun and shoot a bunch of people. When I asked why the school didn't go on lockdown when intruders were inside, a GCS spokesperson says it wasn't necessary because the fight lasted about 45 seconds, it was quickly broken up, and no weapons were used.